Hey, how's it going? Another early morning here on Scorched Earth. Today is Dragon Day. Gonna be trying to go down into the trench, grab us an egg or two, try not to die, try not to lose both of our moths. However, <laughs> I'm guessing all of that's gonna happen, man. I don't know, we'll see how it kind of works out. Kind of excited, kind of nervous. Now over on ASC, it was a little bit different, I think, than that the dragon eggs will be over here on ASA. Not sure what it's changed, but I'm just guessing, man. Seeing how the mechanics are different with the pathing and stuff like that, might be a bad day for us. But if you didn't see the last video, got us a nice little outpost set up right here. Now the dragon trench is right there. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Good thing, because we don't have to worry about going very far if we die, when we die. Let's just kind of correct it there. So we're kind of close to the trench itself. The bad part is we're also pretty close to the trench. Hopefully we don't drag any of the dragons up here and cause any problems for ourselves, you know? So let's go ahead, change out the moths. Now I do got one more leveled up. It's this guy here. Got him up to 4,400 on the health. Stamina is 1,000. That's all that I put my points into. I did remember to bring another tent for us. So let's put you in a cryo. And we'll start off with this guy. Just because he has a better saddle. Now the saddle's not going to protect us from the fire or the lightning or the poison or anything like that. Speaking of poison, I totally forgot a gas mask. But it will allow us to survive the bites a little bit longer. So leave you in there. And then let's change out our old tent for the new one. We'll leave that one here. Just in case we have a little bit of heat stroke or something. It's also the reason why I want to keep that one on us. Let's refill our water. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and just grab some of the good foods. I did go ahead and bring them over here in between the last video and this one. We got all of our foods in here that we custom made. We shouldn't have to worry about things spoiling. Let's take all these out. We'll put all this into here for safekeeping. And we'll just take... Let's take two for right now. That should be fine. Same with this. Two or three of those will be fine. Leave our cactus sap as well and seal this. I think for the most part we should be okay. We got our two beds up here for respawning. Now we are kind of down by the one end of the dragon trench. We got a point. Let's do health. I think we're down by the one side, right? Let's kind of see where we're at in life. I haven't been over here yet. I'm kind of hoping that the dragons have spawned in. Because I didn't fly over this area since I started the map. See, Argentavis down there. Oh, there's a dragon there. Okay, so dragons are down here. Now, I'm wondering if they actually have the nests, like they did in ASC. And if there are a bunch of them, and some are populated and some aren't. Kind of hoping that there's only nests, and they're all full all the time. I know it probably won't happen. Up there by that drop should be the end of the trench. And it goes all the way down that way. Now, you got a chance for the alphas to spawn as well. We are not messing with alphas. Preferably. I mean, if it's a low-level one, maybe we'll kill it off just to get the trophy and stuff. And we got the barrels back at our little outpost for doing our... Storage. That's a ton of dragons, dude! Oh, man, look, dude. <laughs> look, this is... It's gonna... It's gonna be a bad day. Junior, you are not gonna be around for very long, buddy. I am just saying. Why are there so many? There's one of the nests there. Potential nests. So, if you didn't see the other videos, or talked about it, what I want to do is I want to use the poison ones on the gamma. For the beta, we'll use lightning. And then for the alpha, we'll use a fire. That way all of the eggs are kind of color-coordinated with the bosses. It's going to be kind of cool. That just means we've got a lot of eggs to grab in breeding as well. As long as we can grab one egg, though, and make it out successfully, we can use that to come back in and grab some more, right? See a bunch of the, the nests, but no actual eggs in them. It's kind of what I was worried about with ASA. I was hoping they were going to fix that, make it to where they always spawn, right? A lot of dragons. That is a ton of dragons, dude. No alphas, though, that I can see. So that's a good thing. Let's check this drop. Because why not? Might be something good in there. Maybe another one of the moth saddles. Now, the other moth only has a primitive saddle. I did not have another one or a blueprint to make. I'm going to take the food. Don't care about that. We will definitely take this, though, too, though. It's a little bit heavy. I think we should be fine. We'll only be stealing, like, one egg at a time. Yeah, ton of dragons. Ton of dragons! Now, somebody left me a comment and said, I don't know if it's at this end or that end. Apparently, there's a little footpath. They go into a cave. So that's new. So there wasn't anything in there, but kind of cool to check out. Really should have brought something to kill off the dragons with. <laughs> I did not think about that, dude. My main goal is to steal it, not fight them, run, probably die. That's why we have the bed and stuff set up. 
and then come back and grab the egg at a another point after we die. Usually after you get killed by them, right, whenever you steal the egg, they leave you alone. Let's head down to this side. Maybe there's a little bit fewer dragons. The colors look fantastic. Look at that blue one, dude. Can we... Oh, I was in orbital mode. Ah, uh, looks fantastic, man. Get your wings out of the way, Junior. A lot of blues, man. A lot of blues in there. Got a poison one out over here. Let's kind of go up a little bit higher. Now with a thousand stamina on the moth, we should be able to be okay. I'm used to putting some points into, not stamina, but the movement speed on the moth, which you can't do in ASA. And that way I could always outrun him, because the moth, man, he turns corners super, super fast. A lot... It's a storm. A lot better than a pterodon. The one thing I'm really, like, super worried about is sandstorms. If we get down there, steal an egg, a sandstorm comes by, saps all of our stamina, and we can't sprint, that is going to be a very, very major issue. I don't think the storm's over us. I think the storm is back that way a little bit, I think. Speaking of stamina, let's go ahead and stop here and get some. Might be a little bit calmer down at this end. I hope so, man. The uh, trench looks fantastic, though, with the new crystals and stuff. I really like the terrain in ASA. It's like the same, but different, you know what I mean? Oh, there's an egg. It's a lightning one, which is totally fine. And we can't see the actual levels until we get to it. I think getting to them is going to be a problem, seeing that there's so many dragons down here, dude. That'd be good for whenever we have to... Oh, look at the colors on that one. That guy looks fantastic. Is that lightning or fire? Junior, your wings are massive, man. Lightning, 55. That might be the same egg. Oh, dude. Can we make it down there and not... Oh, I forgot the cactus broth. That would have been perfect for this. Hey, he killed the Argentavis. No, dude! We're gonna die right away. Look, we already have aggro. We're grabbing an egg. We're gonna make it out. We're gonna die, respawn, re-grab the egg, okay? Yep, yep. Lay in there, lay in there. Just grab it, just grab it. I don't care what level it is. We got it, so we're gone. I did not want to grab one yet! The lightning is no joke, dude! Now, our saddle's not gonna help out because the fire and the lightning kind of bypass all that. We need to get topside and get these guys stuck on some train and get them aggroed on something else, please! We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Anytime you have to say that multiple times in a row, you are most definitely not fine, okay? I know, we're looping back to their trench. Gotta get them stuck, man. And the problem is, I don't know where base is! We're gonna die already, Junior! Please hold out for a minute! There we go. Okay, look, look, I will fight all of you! Or, or probably not. I mean, that's, that's always an option, too. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> that went both better and worse than I expected. We are stuck in the roof. That was something I was worried about. Not a big deal. We can fix this. Now, if everything works like it should, we should be able to... Oh, we are very close to base! The dragons are right there! Let's say we should be able to grab our stuff. Hello? What am I even stuck in? The door. We should be able to grab our stuff and hopefully not have them still aggro us. I did not think about bringing more clothes. Probably would have worked out. Let's just take the moth so that if we die... Look at that black and uh, yellow one, too. Oh, dude, the colors are fantastic on these guys. I want to have a spyglass. I can't throw out a cryo either because of the storm. Oh, dude, tell you what, let's go inside. Where it is somewhat relatively safe. Let's grab some water. We have to wait for the storm to go away to grab our stuff. Let's take a look at the map. The problem is, we died down here, and the moth died up top, I think. I hope. Really, really hope. Now there's a 50-50 chance, whenever we grab the egg, even though we were already killed, they're still gonna come for us. Different maps, it seems like the dragons always react in different ways. Scorched Earth, they have followed me all the way across the map, even at a render range before, and showed up at my base. Kinda hoping it's not like that again. I mean, it's cool, but it's a terrifying thing. I still can't throw out my cryo. So we'll see what happens, man. We, we might lose a moth again. If we do, I do not have any more bread. We'll have to go back to base and maybe grab... I don't know what. 
maybe the Argentavis and a Theory? Look, man, look, I'll be the first to admit, I did not think this through very, very well. I mean, we got a base, an outpost. So, a little bit of thought went into this. Not very much, though. I think the storm is about to clear up, finally. Holy crap, dude, the dragons, I'm not sure where they went. One kind of flew over, like, right there, dude. He was super close, man. I think he went chasing an Argentavis. Can we get out here so we can throw our team out yet? Fantastic. And the question is, where did those dragons go? They're not over here. Oh, they're all right there. Holy crap, right out of render range. Okay. How many do we have? It's like four or five? Where did the moth die is the question, right? I thought he made it up top here. If we can find his bag, he should... Oh, he doesn't have the egg. I did. Right? I don't see a bag at all for the... for the moth. I see you. You're super close, dude. Super close, super close. Danger close. Oh, there's a Carno. Okay, look. <laughs> I got more scared for the Carno than I should have. There's our bag. Could it not be at a worse place? Okay, I'm stuck in the rock. That's fine. I don't want to dismiss it. I want to grab... Okay, so that's got the egg, too. Okay. They're gonna come for us again, I bet, right? Isn't that the way it works? Yep. Two of them are on us, okay? We're gonna lead them away from base. We are not gonna be able to see anything up here, okay? He's coming close. Let's dip back down. Avoid the lightning. We only have two on us. We can't see a single thing. We cannot go up high, dude. I don't want to go by our base, man. Yep. Yeah, please. Up we go. Have to, man. We have to. Now with the lightning, we got to watch out for the torpor that they inflict. Fantastic colors on that guy, man. Okay, over here. All I got to find is some creatures to get this guy aggroed on. Stamina's still doing good. Okay, look back around. Avoid the lightning. Avoid the lightning. Yep. Yep. So, the little trap that we made, it's kind of far away. <laughs> it's the way that it goes. It, it, it's, we could try to head over to it and get him stuck. It's like way over where that blue drop is, though. That's kind of the problem. Why are there zero creatures around here? Guys, look. <laughs> I'm going to need some help here, okay? Stamina's down to half. Okay, get aggro, aggro on these guys. Aggro on them. Oh, a little cave. Little cave! Oh, that's perfect! Please tell me there's an exit. There is. We got creatures down there. He went right over it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No, oh, dude! We're gonna die right here again! Stamina's getting low. The dragons are smarter than they used to be! They don't care about other creatures, man! I need to get these guys stuck on something! We're down to just one, right? Just him? Awesome colors on that guy, too! Yep. Get stuck in the tree, please! The moth is no longer a viable option for... Egg runs. Just saying! Just saying. Dip down over here. A lot of Argentavis! They look pretty tasty, man! I heard they taste like chicken! Aggro them, not me. Aggro them, not me. We're out of stamina. We're gonna die right here! Let's do this. We'll put the bag and all of our stuff into the moth. We good? We all right? Run blocker, guys. Run blocker. Let's see if this works now. I don't think it does. Doing the, uh... Yep, the little thing for stamina. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything at all for dragons, man. We're out of stamina! That's it. We're gonna die right here. Yep, there we go. Not enough health to get our stamina back. That's fine. If we die right here, we might be able to come back to our stuff a little bit easier. There's a rock home. I heard a rock home! Junior! Throw a boulder! Hit the dragon! There you go, man. There you go. Look, dude, look. We can work as a team here, okay? 
I know we usually don't get along, but do your thing. Oh, we're out of stamina. <laughs> Look, he's gonna he's gonna kill us, man. Our bag's gonna be under a rock golem. Okay, so we don't have the egg. He should be he should be going for the rock golem, not me. Okay. We knew it was gonna happen. We knew it was gonna happen. So here's the problem. We need to spawn back at base. We need to try to figure out what creature we want to take in. Look, man, look. The the dragons, they are definitely smarter. Definitely a lot smarter than ASC. In ASC, they would have got stuck in a tree. They would have seen one of the other creatures down there and said, Oh, look, let's go for them instead, right? Because they're not trying to fly away from us. That did not happen... ...this time. So... Let's... We don't have any shotgun ammo. We do. We got a shotgun. Okay. That'll be fine. Let's put you... ...down there for the moment. Little bit of ammo. Let's... Hmm. Grab some soups. We should have had soups in... ...the beginning. My fault. Let's grab some of those. Let's grab... That's not gonna really help us any. And I think we'll grab some gilly. We can't... Yep. Can't actually close that yet. So! Let's grab our gilly. Actually, is it in here? It is. Very low level, but... Some armor, and that'll help out with the soups as well. And I'm thinking, should we take... Ah, Junior, you're just not really... Built for fighting. We could take our fairy. I think that might be the best bet. Don't forget that is the boss fighting one that we have set up. And then we got the Argentavis. Where's the Argentavis? Oh, he's up top. Like, dude, I know I have him somewhere. I flew back over here on him. All right, so, <laughs> two deaths for us, two deaths for our teams. Let's get back over here. We'll try to kill off that one dragon. Now, the good part is we only had one dragon left after that, right? Hide your helmet, dude. You look weird. We only had the one dragon left. Look fantastic. I'm really hoping that the egg turns out to be like that. So we'll try to kill off that one guy. It's only level 55. Kill him off. Grab our two bags. Hopefully no more come for us. And we'll throw out the Therian and use him for our fighting. We also have the shotgun, too. And then we'll try to head back, I guess, over here, and stay away from everything? Not too sure. I don't know if we can hatch them because I don't have any milk. And we don't really have anything set up for... Was that a male or a female dragon that we saw? Let's do this. Let's take our long neck and some of the darts. If it's a female, we can actually grab milk from it before we kill it. Knock it out. Grab the milk. Kill it. Then we can actually raise up one of our little ones, you know? See how it is. Once we get a, a dragon... All this will be a lot easier, man. It's just getting that first dragon is a thing. Moths used to be my go-to for this, because they can maneuver so much easier than one of the birds, right? Their turning radius is a lot smaller. But I always put points into their speed, right? Where they can actually pace the dragons. Now, since you can't do that in ASA, I know you can turn it on in the options, I just didn't. It's, it's a little bit more difficult, you know? I should have set up some turrets for sure, man, a base. Go ahead and just lay in here and grab our long neck. And seeing how the barrel is still open, we'll take some of the shocking darts. We are taking all of them. Now we do got that lo new long neck as well. This one. Let's put you right there. Let's go ahead and load this. And we got salts on our body, so that should be fine. All right, man. I will see you over there, and hopefully that is a. A female. I'm sure you probably already know if it is or not. I, I can't figure it out until I look back on the recording. Or until we get over there. It's a red drop. Focus, man. Focus. We gotta get our bag and our egg. There's the dragon. Guarding our stuff. Let's eat a soup. I don't have a, a spyglass to see if that's a male or a female. Ah, oh, that sucks, dude. So, we're gonna try to trank it regardless. Let's get on the theory. Because somebody did not bring another cryo. Put you on passive. Everybody on passive.
Stop picking the bushes, dude. I tell you what. Try to jump down here without taking too much damage on our theory. But it is our boss fighting one. Good saddles, good damage, good health. We should be okay for the most parts. I mean, other than the, the lightning, you know. Kill off all this stuff around here, too, if we need to. Yep, yep, sorry, guys, sorry. Look, you gave me no protection when you should have, okay? It's your fault, not mine. You could have lived. We all could have lived. But we didn't. He's up there with the Argentavis. They still have that bug where they go... All the way up, huh? Oh, they're coming back down. Let's, um... Argentavis Talon. I need the moth. Where's the bag from the moth? Right here. So he's gonna come for us, right? Let's grab our bag. We've got a heat wave going on. Good thing we're wearing our ghillie. Rock home. Okay. Perfect. Don't smack me. It is rude, Junior. Why do I not have all my oh it's all my my character, right? Or my bag. With all my tools, my weapon, and my spyglass. Come over here. Come on, man. You're 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 making this take longer than it needs to. I've got a dragon to deal with. He doesn't care about us now. He's kind of chasing that one Argentavis. I think whenever the Argentavis dies, we might have a problem. I want to see if it's a female. If so, we'll go ahead and knock it out. Attempt to knock it out. And grab our milk from it. There we go. Junior, stop picking the bushes, buddy. Is that another one of us, or is that that one? That's a male one. Okay, we don't care about it. Look. Let's leave it alone, okay? We're going to head this way. <laughs> Make our way back to base. I don't know if we should try to grab some milk today. We could, you know? Let's try to grab some milk. Let's head back to the scene of the crime. If we can do that, we can actually go ahead and hatch this one today. Oh, now you're coming for me, huh? Yep. Come back down here where I can reach you. You're only a 55. You're bloody. I need your talons anyways. Okay, test colors, buddy. I just want to say that before you die. There you go. Get what you deserve, man. I'll be taking that. Thank you. All right, so we should be in the clear. Who cool colors on that Carno as well, man? Nice blue colors today on everything. So, if the other ones don't care about us, we'll go ahead and drop this off into our base, which, speaking of that, we're not too far from it. Let's go ahead and delete that. And we'll delete that. We'll get up here to our outpost. Put the egg in there. Should be safe. Safe fish. And then we'll head over on the Argentavis land, call one in with the long neck. And try to get it tranked and grab the milk. Before we die, that is, you know. We should be able to find just a... It's like a lone single one. Maybe some of them are still kind of pulled out away from the trench. You never know. There's a dragon there. Are you a female? They're going up high is a problem. That's a female! Oh, dude. Can we get up on that cliff? If so, we'll hit him with the tranks. Hopefully grab aggro instead of the bird. We can always kill the bird, too. I think we can get up there right over here. Ah, that'd be fantastic, dude. Junior, please back up. Do not cause problems. We're overweight, too. Let's drop this, this, that. All that stuff, we don't need either one of those. We're gonna leave our ghillie on. Just because. And hopefully they're still up top over there. Can I get up right here? If not, I'll throw out the... Bird and try to fly up here. Gonna need to fly up. Oh, they're like way up high, dude. So the thing that I need to do is kill off the Argentavis so I can actually get aggro from the dragon. We're getting heat stroke too, man. Let's set everything up right here. Suit passive. Okay, so he, he's down. He's down. 
Got him with the dart. Okay. Come back up here, buddy. No, oh, dude, that was terrifying. Holy crap, dude. Can you imagine that in VR? Okay, there we go. <gasps> Are you down? Oh, fantastic! Oh, dude, give me the milk. Milk's good. Let's, um... Low level. Level 20. They wake up super fast, dude. Give me your talents, please. Before you fall off the side of the cliff. No talents. Is there a bag? Might be a bag. I got a treasure chest, or a treasure map from one of those. Not sure which one. But the thing is, we gotta rush back to base and try to get this guy hatched up before the milk spoils and everything. I think we're good. Look, dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. That part right there went a lot better than I thought I was going to. Getting the milk. And what we can do is give you some of that. Give you some of that. And that's gonna last three and a half hours. Let's put the egg in there as well. And put that over there. Alright, cool. So, we're getting heat stroke. I don't see any more dragons on us. Doesn't mean that they're not going to follow us. But the way that it used to be as well in ASC, if you change the egg from your bag to your tame and back to you, that it kind of made it to where they would actually come at you like you just stole it again, you know? It's kind of a <laughs> dangerous thing. So we'll leave it in his inventory until we get back to base. It's so another area here we could set up some more of the pillars. In case we have to come all the way inland again like this, you know? Hmm, interesting. Well, kind of went better than I thought I was going to. Worse at the same time. Went ahead and stopped. Made our heat stroke was getting up pretty high. We're back down to 1%. It's almost gone. We are pretty close to base, but I didn't want it to keep stacking, you know? Double check. Make sure there's no dragons coming for us. I think we're good, man. I don't see any. We're like up super high. We're on one of the uh, cliffs right by the obelisk. I think we're all right. Last thing I want to do is drag those guys back to base. I mean, it might be fine because we do have the plant species set up, and they are kind of buffed with the damage that they do. I think it's around a thousand damage they do per shot. So we'll definitely take care of the dragons, but I don't want to use those right now. It's kind of, uh, my rates are boosted for those. And it's kind of like, I don't know, feels wrong taking those and putting them by the dragon trench and just dragging all the creatures into it. Now, that is one of the methods we'll use for harvesting all of the talons that we need. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and set up a small little killing turret area. And kind of kite the dragons into it. We might use normal turrets and bullets for that. Alright, so now the thing is... Do the ACs that we have out... Is that going to be enough to... Allow it to get hatched, you know? Put you right there. Let's grab all this for right now. And let's go ahead. We should be able to seal this. We'll put these in there. Check the times. So we're roughly at... 26 minutes. We'll seal it. It is sealed, right? Double check. It is. Okay. We good? I kind of want to unseal it now to see if it works. We have the other barrel in here. Just because 26 minutes is not very long. We've got like three or three hours or so if they're on us. Let's just set it next to that one. Science, man. Science. Okay, it does perfectly seal it, so that'll work out. Put you in here. Oh, I still have to wait! Ah, oh, dude, that sucks, man. I did not... Look, dude, look, okay? It's the heat, man. The heat, it really got to me today, okay? So, let's leave all that. Put our gear back on. That way I feel normal. What are we missing? That's... We'll cook up all of our... Prime meats. We'll need to drop this off. I think for the most part we're okay. So, we got a treasure map too. We got two of those now. Don't need that. Let's set the egg out. See if it'll start hatching. Junior, buddy, look, man, look, look. If you knew the kind of day that I had, it's been crazy, man. It's been crazy. We lost two tames today, but we did acquire a dragon. Thing is super blue. So, are we incubating? Too cold. Well, I'll tell you what. Look, man, I've got some more ACs. Hey. 
incubating. Perfect, dude. Perfect. All right, so we have a cryo on us. So we can use that to pick him up and get him outside if we need to. Let's drop off... I mean, the stone is fine. Drop off those. Clean up our inventory a little bit. We can always sort this stuff out later. We don't need that. That's for our moss. We got some more that we can breed. The junior did fantastic today. And then... it's kind of it for right now. Oh, the talons, too. We got one talon. wonder why the other one didn't drop us a talon. Kind of weird. Is what it is. Put you in there. How long until I can close you? Two and a half minutes. Three minutes. He will need a little bit of milk, I think, for getting raised up. With my timers and stuff, they might not need the milk, but I still like using it. That way it kind of balances some stuff out, right? Drink some water. Guy gets thirsty. Looks like we're living in the desert or something, you know? Well, that's... Super excited. Here we go. Please be the good colors. Oh, it is ugly. It is ugly! Dude, you're like purple and pink, man. Junior. <laughs> that's not the color scheme I was looking for. Now, sometimes... It would look a lot better once the... Mature rate got higher. Come out here, buddy. Come out here. Can you fit? You stuck? It happens. Pick you up with this. But sometimes the colors would change a little bit as they grew up. Maybe this one will get the dark blue color instead. Let's put you out here, buddy. Got launched. It looks even worse. It is so pink. Ten seconds. We'll see what he wants. Let's give you a milk. <gasps> I drank it! I got excited. And I pushed the wrong button, okay? Oh, hand-fed milk. That's not a problem. Look, Junior, look. I have some right here. That's why we get milk, man. Just saying. So, it's only a... Wait! That's a 170! Oh, we didn't look at the egg, did we? Oh, that is fantastic! Look, man, that could not have gone any better. That's a 170 that we got! No wonder they were mad, man! So, it is a 170 male. Okay, that's good. We can use this one for breeding for sure. I'm not sure what max level is on these. It's normal, or it's higher than 150. So I don't know what the egg was. I'll have to look back on editing. But we got 8200 on the health. Stamina is 771. Weight is 787. And then damage is almost 300%. That is not bad, dude. Use all of this to... Actually, he should be on a feeding trough here soon. Give me that back, you'll be fine. Can we... Half a minute. Put all these in here. And save them for later. That makes me happy, man. I thought it was going to be like a 55. Except for your colors. I'm just saying we might keep you around. Now we can't use this one for breeding. Even though it's not max level. But we'll just have to grab a female one. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully have some better colors. Now the wings do not look bad, right? If the body could be like a black or blue. Like a dark blue. Then the wings will look pretty cool on it. It looks like that the colors are different than ASE. ASE always had like the same color scheme for the lightning ones mostly. You're not too far from being raised up. 15%. So we'll definitely get him raised up today before we go. And then we'll do a little bit of flying around. See how he does. Do some testing with him. They are my favorite one overall. Let's seal that for right now. Let's go ahead and move this one where it goes. Because these I want to put back here. And those are my favorite ones, though, man. Out of all of the... The dragons. I like the fire ones. They're damage. But the lightning ones, man. I mean, they're blue, dude. You know me and blue. Just put all this in the... Well, I can move around. Put it where it goes properly. We'll set you... You can almost do three barrels right there. Just do two, though. And this will go over here. And I want to get a second one of these made, just for doing some jerky. And that's all that was in there, right? Let's put these in here for now. Ah, uh, dude, that was a very, very stressful run. <laughs> like I said, though, it went both better and worse than I thought it was going to. Alright, let me clean up around here a little bit, and then we'll see whenever Junior's ready. We'll take him out for a flight and see how he does. Alright, so there is the stats for the dragon. 
went ahead and made that so we actually have it. Drop off this stuff. I'll leave that in here. That way, if we use it for breeding, we'll have the proper stats for him. Let's go ahead and see how he's doing. Now, we had two of the sandstorms back-to-back, -back, so I had a chance to use all of our meats. Literally, almost all of our meats <laughs> to get them healed up. So, it kind of works. We'll uh, leave the stats like they are for the moment. Do some flying around, see how he is. Dude, I tell you what, man. Ah, dude, the colors on this guy. It could not be the worst set of colors. We got purple. We've got pink. <laughs> we got yellow on the wings. And it's horrible. It's almost like it's the Valentine's Day colors. I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. Let's stay out of the sand dunes. Because, ah, man. Tell you what, I'm kind of done and over with the heat today. So for a base damage. Nibble on this guy. Cool colors on him, too. 305, okay. And then we got the lightning, too. Which does do self-damage. I have started that attack, jumped off of him, and then knocked myself out and killed myself because of the lightning attacks. Now, it might be different on the PvE mode. Maybe I can't do self-damage. We can test it out if, if we do. It's going to be over by base. I'm just saying we died twice a day, so that's kind of enough. But it's not too bad. So what I plan on doing is probably putting most of his points into health and damage. The carry weight should be fine for quite a few eggs. We got three points. So let's go over here and do some flying. Maybe grab some drops. Is there any red ones around? The purple ones seem to do fairly well as uh, as well, man. Still have not got an oil pump either. Need to make one of those and set outs. Gonna be needing that for our jerky. All the drops are kind of disappearing. We're not going back to that side over there. Let's uh take a stroll out to the desert, I guess. Might as well. So we can find some creatures around here to munch on. Get some of our points up. So 305, and then let's put a point into damage. Let's do three points. I know, buddy. I know, buddy. Look, you're, you're getting attacked. Not really the time to celebrate. 326. Super easy way for us to grab our meat and stuff now, too. Should be able to get some hide as well. Fairly easy. Not sure how this guy does against some of the... Oh, there's a red drop coming down. Against some of the rock holmes. Be kind of cool to see, though. I know the Giga is kind of like the best thing to use on those. It does so much damage, and the thing is, there are no Gigas or car charge on this map, so it's kind of nice, in a way. Could head over here and check out this drop. There's usually some wolves around here. Maybe we'll kill them off. Can use a little bit of the pelt. But yeah, man, that was nuts, dude. Oh, dude, I am so glad this egg was at such a high-level one. I thought it was going to be 55 like that one dragon. Really wish we had the colors from that guy, but, I mean, <laughs> we'll just... We'll deal with this one until we can grab one of the other ones. The main thing we're going for is the poison eggs in the next video. I mean, we'll grab whichever ones we can get, but the poison ones are the main ones we need for the Gamma boss fight, you know? Take that plus a UD in, and there's a heat wave coming. Right over here is a very nice place to build, too. The only problem is the cat bros that are around here. That's just now coming down. We've got a minute. I was thinking about building our permanent base, because the base we're in now is not our permanent one. But building over here, because the water dude looks so nice, man. We could do a little build right here. I want to keep it small, about the same footprint that we have. And the waterfall is not loud at all. Oh yeah, let's do... Passive. The waterfall is actually not loud. Kind of clear out maybe one or two of the trees right here. Maybe that one. Put our base right here on the side. Or even do it over there. Then you have the little uh, lagoon down here. Now with the plant species, it'll kind of help out with the capros and stuff that are around. There's another waterfall over there. I kind of like this one, though. It's kind of nice. Kind of in the center of the map, too, I think, right? Kind of. In between all three of the obelisks. Maybe not the center of the map, but all three of the obelisks. Let's leave the trees there. Let's grab our drop real quick before we go. It's been a very, <laughs> very eventful day, man. But we got a very good dragon out of it, so kind of worth it, man. I'd have to get some more of the moss spread up. And get that kind of sorted out. I still haven't hatched those UD eggs either. Kind of need to get on that. Moss will be super simple since we got that good breeding pair, you know. It's more of the cactus here. All right, what have you got? A dragon saddle? I know it's not a thing. Ooh, very good. Broth of enlightenment. That'll help out with either us or our teams or getting more experience. Oh, we got some electronics. I like that. All soups. Some of that. That'll be very good for Aberration, and those will be very good for the Grinder, for sure. 
Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day, really. We lost two tames. We gained one. Colors are horrible, but <laughs> it's a very good level on the dragon. Very surprised we got such a good egg on the first run. I didn't even look at it, right? We ran down, we grabbed it, we ran out, lost our moth, went back, and lost another moth. But we were able to knock it out. One of the ones that kind of followed us. We got the milk for hatching this guy, and turned out fairly well, man. Overall, not too bad of a day. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked our first run down into the Dragon Trench here on Scorch Earth Ascended. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.